Don says, Every time I visit the store, if this particular cashier checks me out, she's continually speaking with people out loud, gossiping with other customers. Hello? Hello, Don? Yes? Hey, Don. It's Roy. I'm the manager here at the Albertsons. At Albertsons? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you filled out the online complaint thing, and I was just calling to resolve your issue. Oh, yeah. I didn't. You didn't need to call me, but okay. Oh, why didn't I need to call you? Well, I just thought it was a survey. Oh, what? You're okay with uh, complaining about our employees on online, but you're afraid to do it over the phone or in person? Why couldn't you just talk to a manager in the store? Excuse me. Why couldn't you just talk to the manager in the store instead because, of? Because um, I was getting ready to. Um, I had to be somewhere. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, you sound really important. Like, why are you just a coward and and you only want to do it online? Hide behind your computer? No. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Uh, it sounds like I'm talking to Don, the the fucking complainer. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I, I don't appreciate you um, talking shit you, about my you employees. You just said the F word to me, oh, and oh, you're oh. calling me from the store oh, so I can't because say, I'm a fucking complainer? I can't say yeah, the F word? I have, been in, I have been in that store a million times, and this woman is the same way every single time. Is this the one that you're saying, this associate has an arrogant attitude and is bitchy every time I've been to the store? Yes. So you can say bitchy, but I can't say fucking. Is that how it works? Okay, are you are you work at the Albertsons in um in uh okay, so I can fill out this thing that like you a coward. guys ask us to fill out. Like the coward you online. are online. Fucking coward. Yeah, go ahead. I bet you can This is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke at all. I'm trying to resolve your issue. Okay, so you're calling me a fucking coward and you're calling from the store and you want to resolve the issue. Well, it seems obvious you're a coward. Are you like, kidding me? Like you Are you just, kidding me? You could have just talked to the manager while you're there. I, I, I work for a company that I've worked for for 24 years, mm -hmm. and if I called somebody and said that to them, who the hell do you think you are? What? That didn't make you sense. You work at the Albertsons in... in Correct, yeah. Yeah, I'm the manager and, here. And, and you're telling me... So, okay, I want your name, I and told I you. will go into the store, and I will talk to the manager, oh, you probably won't. and I will tell him what you said. You're probably just going to fill out another anonymous online survey on your computer. Oh, hell no. Not when somebody calls me on my phone when I'm on my lunch break when I'm working and calls me a fucking coward on my phone. Yeah, well, I cursed you because you cursed. you be kidding me. You said the word bitchy in your, in your complaint. Yeah, yeah. So? Yeah, so, 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 um, exactly, uh, so. Have, yeah, so, but in your customer service uh, person that's going to try and resolve issues, and then you're going to call the person who filled out the complaint a fucking coward. Yeah, and a trick-ass hoe. Write that down, trick-ass hoe. So, um, oh, my God, what is wrong with you? I'm just trying to resolve the complaint. You said she was speaking... you got to be shitting me. You called me a trick-ass hoe and you're trying to resolve the complaint? Are you... Now, are you fucking kidding me? No, I, I was now, trying to resolve now, things. Now, you started you're going to tell attitude. me that you would talk to me... If you were standing in front of the CEO of Albertsons, you would talk to me the way you're talking to me right now? Yeah, hey, I'd punch I him in the nuts. I'd bullshit on your ass. Oh, whatever. Because fucking nobody talks to people like that when they work in customer service. Whatever happened to you, um, I'm sorry, what can we do to make this experience better for you? Oh, welcome to 2016, ma'am. Are you fucking kidding me? You're calling me a trick-ass hoe? And don't forget, this is, okay, yeah, 2016. So I've got your phone number locked into my phone now. What does that mean, locked in? Uh, it's on my redial. It's not blocked, so oh. I can call it back. Well, I don't care. Whether it's the store's number. You can call the store anytime you want. Just try not to be a bitch when you talk to people like you know you were with that cashier. I didn't even talk to her. What? Well, maybe that's the problem. She, she, maybe, she, maybe. she was she was continuing on a conversation with the guy she had already checked out, which she does every single time. 
And the only thing I got from her was, are you playing the Monopoly game? Probably because you're no fun to talk to, because listen to yourself. Of course she's going to talk to other people. Are you, you wanna... kidding? Are you kidding me? She doesn't want to talk to You call me a trick-ass hoe and call me a fucking coward, and you're going to turn this and blame this on me? You've got some wonderful associates in that store. I know we do. This All woman of them is are. not one of them. I, no, she is. She just doesn't like you. Uh, Okay. So, I mean, that's not... But a... I, I, I doubt... How would she even know who I was? Well, she just doesn't like your attitude. She doesn't know you personally. She doesn't want to either. I'm just saying, you know, maybe she doesn't talk to you because you're not fun to talk to. Because you just yell at people and, and curse... No, I don't! I was standing in line with my son! Oh, so... so yeah, it... I'm upset now! I'm upset now because you called me a trick-ass hoe! So that's what the... do you think's gonna happen? Th that's the only... Are you fucking stupid? That's the only reason... I mean, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen when you call a perfect stranger on the phone... You're not a stranger, you say what you said to me. What do you think's gonna happen? So the only reason you didn't... Uh, no, you weren't, answer you, my question! You weren't a bitch at her because, because you were with say, your son? No, you know, you're not answering my question, so who's the coward? How do you expect <laughs> somebody to respond... When you say those things to me over the phone. I tried to be nice, and you just started being mean to me and cursing and stuff. Um, what planet are you from? <laughs> what does that mean? Seriously. Seriously. You called me and said, I would like, and I said, oh, I didn't know you were going to call me. Jeez. And listen, you were like, oh, you. so you're just going to hide behind your, your computer and be a, a fucking coward? Well, that's a cowardly thing to do. Seriously. Like, you should just talk Seriously. to the manager. You're in customer, you're in customer service, she, and you're going to call me and say I'm a fucking coward. She's got a phone at her register. Do you know I, how I, many times I have had, uh, 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 I go to that store, I'm in that store two or three times a week. Yeah, that's how they I know you. I never, ever, ever filled out um one of your surveys before except for jenny because she's like the nicest thing ever oh i hate jenny and no you don't no i do because i tried to i tried to come on to her and she she Dude, denied my you know what whatever i'm not interested in listening to that garbage okay well i'm just saying i don't like her because of that like, well, who, who, that's fine. I does, don't care. Who does that's she think she is? As far as her doing her job, she does a wonderful job. I'm better looking She's than a her. Great cashier. <laughs> she well, won't, even, won't even give me the time of day. I had well, to fire that. That yeah. I was gonna say trick asshole, but I didn't want to take that away from you. I think I'm gonna fire Jenny just to spite you. What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. There I, is something I, wrong I, with you. For I, you to pick up the phone and call a total stranger who filled out You're not a stranger. A You're in our store all the time. Survey, call me names. Call me a trick ass hoe. Call me a fucking coward. I tell you, you have wonderful associates. Now you're going to say you're going to fire her just to spite me? I should. I mean, what is, okay. There's something seriously wrong with you. Well, the real reason is just that she, she turned me down for a, a date. She's been married for years, so you know what? Who cares? Well, that doesn't matter. Who Welcome cares? to 2016. My, you know what? It's none of my business if she turned you down for a date. Who cares about well, you're that? You're the one that keeps I'm bringing it up. About, I'm talking about her job performance. Um, yeah. She's a great cashier, and she's a friendly woman. Yeah, she's friendly to you, and, and maybe. And I'm basing that on my experience with her. Oh, I'm surprised she's friendly so to what, you. what you don't like her for, way, that is totally, completely irrelevant to me. The way, she, the way you, the way you treat everyone, all. I'm surprised Jenny even likes you. You you have got to be joking. I'm not joking. I filled out an online survey like a because coward. I felt like I was being... Are you kidding me? Every single time I go in there, I go to the I go to the meat department, I go to the deli, I go to somewhere. They put a little red tag on whatever it is that I've ordered, saying, "Please go in and tell us how we've done." Right. Yeah. So but... so so I go online and I do what I've been asked to do a hundred times, and I get a phone call from a fucking dickhead <sighs> who is going to shit on me because I did what the store requested me to do. No, but most people they're they're not like this about it. You know, they're nice in their surveys, and you they give what? us they I give us friends. hey shut up shut I up have hey shut up. Management they give us constructive the criversen criticism. Store in Kingston, 
So, you know what? I've got your phone number now. I'm going to go talk to the managers at the Albertson and Kingston. Good. And you can fuck off. You th- you and think, I hope you don't have a job. You think the guy in Kingston has authority over me? I could kick No, but I'm I, sure I could, he can get a hold of somebody. I could kick his can. ass any day. Dude, you're a joke. You're, <laughs> you're, your dick's probably the size of my pinky. And that's, that's why you get on the phone and harass women that's the way nice. you are. Fuck you. Do not call me back. This conversation is over. I'm just trying to resolve your complaint, and you just start yelling at me. Whatever.